So Sheila has said, um, hello Ellie, hello. How about an update on Peter Navarro and Roger Stone? Yeah, let's do uh, a reading for each. So let's have a look at Peter Navarro. Peter Navarro. He was that fellow that Ari Melba managed to pretzelize <laughs> on legalities. He was the um, sweeps, what was it called? The sweepstakes? Oh, I don't know what it was. But um, he was he was one of the um, conspirers of this um, insurrectionist delay of the vote. Green Bay sweepstakes or... I don't even know. I don't know what the term was that he used. But um, one of the advisors to Donald, who actually was part of that Willard Hotel discussion on January 5th, and then also the attempt to delay the certification of Joe Biden's victory. I've had a card pop out. It came out this way. This is about being the victim of lies and uh, betrayal and duplicity and then being ready to decide on something that you couldn't previously. That's if it's relevant. Okay. Three cards about his direction of travel. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles. The Fool, and then the Four of Swords. So this is about um, education, training. It can be about career change or working towards a career, career focus of some kind. The Fool is about um, jumping into the unknown and trusting that the universe will catch you and having like a new beginning of some kind. And then we've got the Four of Swords, which is about a meditation, resting the mind and withdrawing. Now, we do know that he's been he's withdrawn a lot from public view. He does have cases pending against him. I think he's been has he been indicted. I know he's got cases pending against him. He's a he's a defendant in something. This here could be working with the authorities, I think. I think he might be working with Jack Smith. I think that the withdrawal and the education element and the change of focus could be about switching sides a little bit. And this is about moving forward on in a new direction, but kind of um, not a new direction necessarily, sort of embarking on something new, but jumping forward without really um, worrying about whether there's a safety net perhaps because you have no choice. So when it comes to Peter Navarro, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that his perspective has changed, probably because he's very vulnerable. And um, I would not be surprised to hear later on that he has been cooperating in some respect, probably with Jack Smith's probe, I would say. So the other one was Roger Stone. So the question was, what's Roger Stone's updated direction of travel? Hmm, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? That's okay. We'll just call it mood lighting. <laughs> So we've got the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, oh gosh, and then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Roger Stone's not going to do too well. I know that he's been pardoned and all of these things, but you know, these pardons may not actually be relevant, especially if after the pardon, he's gone and done something to reinforce the original behavior, uh, which chances are he's done. 
we've got here uh, real worry, concern and negative thoughts and also possibly, you know, sleepless nights and things as well. We've got here destitution, poverty and um, having a real concern for welfare and prosperity issues. And then we've got this fracture of the big deal. And the big deal could be, you know, um, anything, whatever it is that is huge, that's in his life, it's broken. And the direction of travel for Roger Stone is not a good one. I believe this could even be the concept of his uh, prosperity and well-being, which could ultimately, with these two cards together, basically losing everything, including all of his assets and his freedom. And this is a real concern. So, yeah, I would say um, Roger Stone is heading down and I do believe it probably is because of his connection to the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers and all of that. I think he's watching that and he knows that it's just a matter of time. And it looks as though he's not wrong about that either. Thanks for the questions.